Hi and welcome to C Programming. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to display an array. Due to the fact that an array consists out of multiple variables, we need to have some sort of technique to traverse through each element in the array and to display each element. So how would we do this? So let's see in the following slide. So assume we have an array of size 6. So size 6 means that our indexes start from 0 to 5. How would we display the content of this array? Now the easiest way to display the content of this array is by traversing through the array from the first element through to the last element. And how would we do this? Simply by using a loop structure to loop through each of these values. Now luckily the indexes follows a numeric root and we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we can use a loop structure to count through each element in the array. So first of all when that count variable is 0, we will display the first element. Then we increment that count variable and we display the second. Then the third, fourth, fifth and the last element in the array. And that is in simple terms how we will display each value in an array. So let's quickly have a look how we would implement this in C programming. So, we have a basic C programming structure. We will declare an array and we will call this array array1 and it will have a size of 6. Curly brackets, we will define some values for this array and let's say it's 4 to 7, 5, 6, and 1. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 values in this array. Okay, so we are going to display now each element in this array by using a loop structure that will traverse through each element. So how would we do this? Now, a loop structure that will count from 0 to 5. So quickly, just think for a moment. We discussed a loop structure that is actually perfectly suited for this problem. And yes, that's a counter-controlled loop structure. Or we can just call it a for loop. Yes. So we will create our for loop structure. So what's the four rules for counter controlled repetition? First rule is we need a counter variable. So we will create our counter variable called i. We will have our for loop structure. Now, second rule for counter controlled repetition is initialization. We first need to initialize the counter variable to a starting point. So i is equal to 0. Why 0? Because our indexes start at 0 for the array. Then we need to have a condition. Now this condition will limit the end of the repetition. Okay, so i is smaller than and smaller than what? 6. Why? Because 0 to 5 is the indexes for an array of size 6. Okay. And then we increment with 1. So that's the four rules for counter-controlled repetition. So now we have a counter variable that will be able to count from 0 to 5. And we can use this counter variable inside our array 
to display each element in the array. And how would we do this? By using a printf statement. And we can say percentage D space. Let's say new line. And we can say hmm, array one in square brackets. And what would we put in the index? We will simply put the counter variable called i. And i will increment and increase in size on each loop and thus loop through each element in this array. So we can put a semicolon, we can save, we can build and run, and we can see what happens. So the first value that was printed out is 4, and the value inside the array is 4 at the first index. Two, seven, five, six, and one. And you can see we have printed successfully each value of the array to the screen. So a counter controlled loop structure works perfectly to print out each element of an array and then actually just to go and display the content of an array. That's all from me. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.